Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Pat Mackey, and uh, I am the director of Fearless Camp. And uh, just here talking yet again about fasting and prayer. I've got a dear friend from Los Angeles, uh, Corona, California, via Los Angeles, Pastor Damian Provencio and family. I've been having a great time with him. I was out there two times in two years to his spiritual father I just recently passed uh, and went to be with the Lord prophet, the great prophet and apostle Ken Peters and his wife Tanya and family. They received me and have been contributing to Heroes Camp and the ministry of the orphans like nowhere else on the planet from California. Sending us cows, sending us hogs, sending us money, sending us love, praying for us and sending us laborers. Real unusual, but sign of the time, signs, wonders, and miracles. In South Bend, like nowhere in the world. Today, uh, I'm going to lay a format and then I'll let Pastor Damien flow for a little bit. I'm going to write, a, I'll read a few notes that I wrote when I came to prayer today. I actually started writing them at home and it just kept coming. How you spend your time and money. So what we're going to talk today about is to incubate. How you spend your time and money proves your value system. Everybody needs to take a time uh, of inventory to see where they're really at in life and how much of it lines up with the word of God for it has the last say so. If you have a tendency to waste time, you also have a tendency to miss opportunity when presented it to you. Uh, usage of time correctly opens up the mind of the revelation of opportunity that the Lord will give you. Turning a speedboat is very different uh, than turning an ocean liner and the older you get with more responsibilities in life of marriage, family, and the like, the harder it is to turn the ship and of time and investment of time. So it's best to change early and take note of it often. The first commandment that God gave Adam was to be fruitful and it takes time to sow, more time to reap, sow seed time, and then harvest. And then we will, uh, and, and then we don't want to be serious about talk, uh, talking inventory about time because we really don't expect a harvest. We don't want no one to talk about our inventory about time. Uh, the word incubate means to uh, set up on eggs or to set up on something that you're birthing. Uh, prayer, you may not know what you're birthing, but if you know whose you are, and how many times you he's already birthed something in your life, that ought to be uh, just credibility enough. God is credible because the Bible said in the book of Hebrews, it's impossible for him to lie. Take it to the bank. Take Donald Trump to the bank. Take, the, uh, 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 take everybody to the bank on that one. And all you're going to get is a broke down check. God is going to come through every single time. And I'm not hating on Donald Trump. He's just making promises that he can't keep. God don't make a promise except that he can keep it. We don't want to know that. We don't want to know that. We was, we don't, cause we don't want to take inventory. I'm not, I'm talking about what I've learned by using my time right to set up on eggs for the purpose of hatching. We should be able to birth revival by inventory of time. Do we really care? Do we care souls are lost? To maintain a favorable temper, te uh, temperature. So it, prayer gotta be hot and get harder if you're going to birth something. To maintain a favorable temperature, promoting development so the baby isn't premature. Uh, it is, it's bred, it's brewed, and it's to produce. That's what, to breed. Uh, 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 when you catch a flu, it, it, the, the germ is out there and, it, and it's breeding itself to attach itself to a host. I'm the host of prayer. I'm the host of the Holy Ghost. If I'll host him in prayer, he'll come to me. He said that he will come into man, lead us and guide us into all truth. And that's what we've been talking about in Heroes Camp. Let me read this, Pastor Damien, and I'm going to give it over to you. And when you incubate, and you incubate, BJ and I, my wife, BJ, uh, 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 39 years ago, well, actually 40 years, because it takes nine months to have a baby. We were in Lamont's class. People don't do that today. They don't know who they don't know who the father of the baby is. They don't know who the mother is. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Lamont's class for pregnancy is a class of prayer 
for vision. Lamaze class is a place that God trains you for reigning in the earth as a standard. If you don't go to prayer, we cannot talk about how the standards are falling. The Bible said if, if the foundation is removed, what can the righteous do? So the standards have been removed. The standards of celibacy, the standards of soberness, the standards of giving, and it will be given back to you. We're a standard of waiting on a, 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 a stimulus check and take, 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 and don't give nothing. People don't even want to work for a living no more. And I know there's some corruption seated into everything that's in America, but if we could lift the veil over the blinded church eyes, they would see something different. Well, if it seemed like I was angry, I'd have to calm down first. Let me read this in, in, in Luke 1, 30, 1, Luke chapter 1, verse 26. In the sixth month, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Gal a Galilee, to a virgin, to a virgin. You got to be virgin. If you're going to birth a vision, you got to be virgin. You, and you got to do it God's way. You got to go full term in order for the head to come through. They'll teach you all that stuff. One thing they teach you in, 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 in Lamaze class that uh, a men that are supposed to take their husband's breast and, the, and, and to take and twist their nipple because when the child is getting ready to be birthed and then it's going to be breastfed, then the nipple will be tough enough so even if it were to bite it or maybe uh, after it grows its first tooth or a few tephuses, it won't hurt. We got to get in shape for revival because it's going to change everything. It don't work in a 40-hour work week. It works, period. Everything. And don't even worry about the money. He'll send the money. You'll be able to quit your job. He'll keep you. I know you don't want to hear this, so it's okay. I'm still saying it. Uh, a town in Galilee to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her. Greetings. You are highly favored. The Lord is with you. That's the greatest thing that anybody can tell you, that you're highly favored, that you've been invited into prayer. And we don't use our highly favored. Then we feel overlooked by American government. I didn't send my money. I didn't get a good job. Like, man, you, you need to read your Bible with some revelatory eyes open. It's your eyes and ears and heart open before God. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered, What kind of greeting might this be? But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid. Mary, you have found favor with God. When you pray, when you find, you will find favor with God. You will be with a child and give birth to a son. And you are to give him the name Jesus. He will be great. And he will be called the son of the most high. The Lord will give him the throne of his father, David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. A lot of those same thanks statements were made over in Isaiah this is 750 years later. Wow, what, what revelatory ability to hold on to something until it began to come to pass. How will this be? But he came to his own. His own didn't receive him. He wanted to be born in the end, but it wasn't no end, so he's born in the manger around the animals. Anything that's born of God, people ain't going to get to it until they need it. And when they need it, the person that birthed it probably is dead. Um, the man from Salvation Army praying in the snow all night in the middle of winter. His heart was full for, 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 for the people that he was called to pray for. How will this be, Mary asked the angel, since I'm a virgin? The angel answered, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One will, to, will, uh, uh, to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age. She who was said to be barren in her sixth month, for nothing is impossible with God. Can we redeem America? Absolutely. But it's going to take some knee mail. Everybody on Facebook, everybody on email, but nobody got knee mail. I'm the, I wish I wasn't talking like this, but it needs to be talked up like this, so I'm going to keep on doing it. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May it be to me as you have said. Then the angel left her alone. If that ain't a lot to ponder and the possibility, you know, people write books on possibility thinking and uh, uh, I'm not against none of that. 
but this is faith thinking for it to come to pass. And then because God birthed it, he was warned in a dream even before that baby was born. Get up and get out of here because the haters are on the way. Pastor Daniel. I think, you know, one of the biggest things with people in, in this incubation process is it's it's a slowing down. It's a oh, slowing amen. still. Amen. It's, a, it's a no movement. And and the problem with people, everybody wants to do God's work. They don't want to do it God's way. Oh, and, amen. And they, they just want to run. Amen. And, and the primary purpose of this incubation is to slow down so that we can figure out what God is trying to birth first. There, there's That's where you get life. That's where that life first goes flowing into you. And everybody's talking about, I'm going to learn who God is on the fly while I'm running, while I'm out jogging, while I'm out doing the works. But you you can't produce life that hasn't been produced in you yet. You can't give out something that hasn't been put inside of you. And this is what that incubation does. This, right. is, this is what that time of silence before the Lord, that to figure out what needs to get birth before you go out trying to get into labor. There's, there's no process and people are trying to work. There's no power and people are trying to handle something. There's no life and people are trying to sow it out. They won't, they need to slow down and get before God. But we live in this world. If you ain't running, you ain't doing nothing. If, 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 if this world wants to stay alive and, 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 and they're running and they're living without life, they're walking and God ain't in them. They're speaking and there's no words in their mouth. And, and, and it's because nobody knows how to sit down. They don't know how to, how to, how to, how to be patient, sit before the Lord and, and, and not us sitting on him, allow, allow the Lord you know, to come and sit on us. Amen. Let let me let me give you that life. Let That's me bring right. that heat. That's right. Let that come from my throne instead of us coming to the throne and saying, I'm ready for another one. Right. Well, people want to uh they want to multitask their pregnancy with God. Yeah. They want to multitask in their in their prayer closet. Mm -hmm. You know? And if you multitask while you're pregnant, are uh, you finna birth a cyclops? Yeah. You're gonna birth something that's retarded. And most churches today, they don't have no they have no understanding of the apostolic authority they have no understanding of prophetic discernment and the need for to war according to prophecy war until those things come to pass isaiah says 750 years before jesus is born his name be called emmanuel his name be called wonderful counselor mighty god prince of peace everlasting father all, all, and to the end their government will be without end they come and say the same thing here 700 that's keeping something alive and it went it went oh wow and we've been through the dark ages you know, before John came up, the last thing that he said about Elijah, till they turned the hearts of the fathers back to the children. Then when John come, he said that was his job. Went through 400 years of silence and said, didn't say nothing. And then the next time, the last time God spoke, it was about that. The next time God spoke after 400 years, he said, I ain't changed my will about that. Do right by the orphans. Do right by the widows. Do right by them. If we did right by them, they would buy into Christ because they would see the manifestation of our integrity. I never, I never seen nothing that God birthed fail. Amen. Never once. Amen. The problem is we have too many premature people going into a premature labor. No spiritual they, fathers. They, no, no strength, no life, no upholding, no foundation. And we're building on the sand and we're like the man, the storm comes in and immediately. Amen. Because there's nothing that has been formed on, nothing that's been formed. But we set out count the costs. Never. And, and, and then they wonder why they, they get disappointed and it's God's fault because I didn't wait. Right. It's, 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 it's because the, the, the ministry wasn't right. Nobody accepted me. Nobody accepted the prophets. No, but, but, but like you're saying, it didn't fail. It was birthed correctly. It was 750 years of incubation right. for this to come to pass. That's a, that's a lot of patience. And we want to run after the first month of, of, of being in, uh, of impregnation. We want to birth something after one month. What what happens naturally? What what's the percentage on that? A baby being born after one month. Good luck having it live. Good good luck. Or 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 the process is going to be so long and drawn out. Then you got people that are five years old acting like one years old. One thing they teach you in the mosque class, Pastor Damien, is about tri trimesters. So a baby has three trimesters. So the first trimester, you know. It don't seem like anything is that shows that you're pregnant. You might start having a few cravings, you know, as a woman. And, and um, you know, you might start getting a little bit tired. You might start getting a little bit bigger around the waistline, you know. But in that second trimester, you know, there are noticeable changes. 
And there are stages uh, and levels and realms and dimensions to birthing. And we don't understand that. We look at the great T.D. Jakes or we look at other the great uh, 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 Bill Winston, Dr. Winston in Chicago and other ministry gifts. But you didn't see where they started. And everybody today wants to emulate them off YouTube. You're retarded. Some, somebody should tell you that you're retarded. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because that is not the process of God. And a lot of times, David had money, so Solomon didn't have to war. He inherited that money. He had wisdom, okay, because he prayed for it. A lot of times, people like me, I'm 68. I know I got billions of dollars that are coming. Whether I live to see it or not is irrelevant because I have a successor in my daughter and my son-in-law. I'm successful. It's not the hundreds of thousands of children that we minister to. It's that I got someone to turn over a little bit of time that know how to run the race, are not afraid of the heat. You know what I'm saying? Because they've been fathered and they've been called for. They've been cried for. And that's what's missing is the father-son relationship in ministry. The Bible said 10,000 instructors, but not many fathers. So then we go to the third trimester. Right. Oh, right. Right. So, so, so let me finish that. Yeah, hit it. Third trimester, if you're living on the third floor of an apartment complex, you better get your husband to carry your groceries <laughs> upstairs. Matter of fact, you might want to move to a hotel to have that baby, you know, because that's a whole different dynamic right there. And in just about the time that the birthing canal will be ready to receive the newborn, because people don't know how it works, they're bored. And, and, and it's a trimester of growth. Amen. It, there's so much growth. And then you get to the end of this third trimester, everybody knows it's time for the baby to come. And they can see it. Everybody knows. You can see it. If you're birthing it, you can feel it. Everybody's expecting it. And, and you, you expect something good to come. What happens though is we got people running out in the first trimester spiritually, second trimester spiritually. So we got these premature births. So you almost, saying they get out from under their cover and go start their own church. And, and this is what it this is what it causes. Premature birth cause almost always causes birth defects. Right. There's there's defects. They're in missing chromosomes. And 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 then it, it there's a defect in the rest of the ministry. Amen. The rest of the walk. You can't do it the way that you were you were ordained to do it because you didn't get all the life that you needed to complete it. Amen. So we're out running and we don't got the tools to complete the job. There's a life that come through humans by revelation. And then there's a life that come by the spirit through Christ and the Holy Spirit. And I think that duality, you know, because the spirit and the word agree, you know. And I think that to go full term is something that will have longevity. The Moravians or that I know of are the longest recorded people that sustain revival by foregoing their life. They forego all ambition. They forego everything that the culture of their day said that was important to be accepted. Since when uh, being accepted has anything to do with the influence of heaven? To so being accepted on earth might make you miss heaven. To A.W. Tozer says, to be right with God almost always means that you're going to be wrong with men. That's right. Almost always. You, that, that's you ain't going to fit in. You, your, your, your peace ain't going to be right with everybody else to be right with God. And we're looking for that too. Everybody wants everything to look like everybody else's. And they're looking at the wrong place. They got the wrong image. They don't, they, they don't got what, what, what the, the background of what, of what God said. This is what it looks like. So they're trying to form something that's not even there. You're, you're never going to find satisfaction outside of that. You're never going to be fulfilled if you're apart from the building, establishment, and birthing of God. The, the, the one thing that you have to do that is commanded uh, by the Apostle Paul, uh, if you're going to birth a vision, and sometimes you don't know. Mary's like, I mean, I go to bed and I'm a virgin. I wake up, I'm a virgin, but now I'm pregnant. Man, only God can do something like that. You know, the, the human instrumentality uh, of Heroes Camp is me, my marriage, and family. We're a host for the divine seed and vision. He gave me the gift of faith so I didn't have to rely on mankind. You know what I'm saying? And not that people have not helped us, but I haven't had to ask people. And I'm so humbled by that. But that is the gift of faith in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. 
the word and but the word I was talking about, God expects us to abstain. Yeah. You cannot have multiple lovers if you're married. I'm married to Christ. I don't I don't need what horoscopes say. I don't need what CNN says. I don't need the shots that the White House are calling. I'm not hating on them, but if God is God, let's rely on God. And that is the love of God. To have all these co-redeemers, that just shows no trust in the Lord. To, I, 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 I prove myself to kids every day in this place. And I said, I got you tomorrow. You sure you got? I, I didn't have you the day before, did I? Why would I have you tomorrow? You know, if I could say that as a human father, how much from heaven, you know what I mean? Do we need to believe that? But like Samson, he always put his head in the wrong place. You cannot lay your lap and have a divine, you cannot lay your head in, in Delilah's lap and have a divine vision come to full term. The word abstain, that's what he told us to do, the apostle Paul, to hold oneself back voluntarily, especially from something regarded as improper or unhealthy. To cease anything that is permissible, but not regal or working towards the royalty of the oldest brother. G, uh, uh, Jesus, uh, uh, he, he forego things, he passed up things, he refrained things from things, he, with, he withheld things from his uh, uh, pleasure, he avoided things, he curbed his appetite, he evaded uh, public, uh, 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 where everybody worshipped him. He knew what was good for him, wasn't good for him, because he walked with God. He refused things, he stopped, he denied himself, he did without, and he kept himself from things. Over in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse number 23, we'll start in 21. You cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of demons. Two, the cup of demons, I'm telling you. I know, I know that everybody want to monitor the things that are on YouTube, whether it should be said right or not, but don't you see? And, 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 and I mean, I grew up in the 50s and the 60s. Today, there are people from that era that can't believe stuff is on television. I'm throwing demons. What are demons? What, what, you know, flies that go towards manure. That's what they eat. Demons go towards money. That's what they eat. Because you can't have God. You can't serve God and money. You can't serve God in mammon. The cup of demons, too. You cannot have a part, both the Lord's table and the table of demons. Are you trying to rouse the Lord's jealousy? Are we stronger than he? Everything. So listen to this concerning abstaining. Everything is permissible, but everything is not beneficial. Everything is permissible. But not everything is constructive. I got league pass up to 10 games every single night. If I watch all the games, maybe I would see one good quarter. That's how bad basketball is right now. I love the Phoenix Suns because they got a great coach. There's a couple other teams I can watch because they play right. And, they're, and, they're, and, they're, and they got the players to buy into it. I wish the church would buy into the word and believe it, abstain. But I still ain't going to watch, you know, I'm being stressed. I might watch an hour, but I ain't going to watch an hour at a time because it ain't that interesting anymore. I'm just trying to unwind for a minute, using my time right, and voluntarily take a, 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 an assessment from the checkup and see how I'm using my time. Don't go, go, go every week and see how you're using your time. Nobody should seek his own good but the good of others. That's why you're abstaining, to make other people Visible, to make invisible people visible by prayer, by fasting, by weeping, God crying out to God. God saved them. What you guys say about your life of abstinence? I, I wish that people would learn how to. Been to recently, just been to Mexico, excuse me, and yeah. Africa. What do you see? Let's talk about that abstinence. It's a waiting. It's a waiting. That's right. what it is. And I wish, I wish. Is there a reward that goes with abstinence? The best. Yes. The, the, that's the only way, way you get Define reward. that best. What does that mean? It, it, it is the exact reward of the Lord. 
Amen. And anything outside of that, it ain't worth nothing. Right. But what would, how would you if I would call it insight? Revelation, Insight, revelation uh, knowledge on how to go Lord, through a thing, how to wisdom, go about a thing. Walk in a straight path, being exalted, becoming the head, becoming the front. And and, and the backside of all of those is I, I become beneath. If, I, if I'm not absent, if I don't wait, I become the tail. I become the backside. I become behind. And, and that ain't my portion. So in order, in order to be over somebody, you got to be over there in their estimation so you can come under them and serve. Exactly. Oh, man, I love that right there. So can we wait? I wish the church would learn how much they could get accomplished if they wait. Amen. I wish they could learn how far they could go if they would stop moving forward. Amen. And they would just wait on the Lord and get in that presence because it ain't you, it's him that's going to take Amen. You. And if you're going somewhere, you're going to realize you got nowhere. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, your... What do you see for the subsequent generation for your children? Is this conglomerate known as the United States of America going to continue to exist? It can't. It can't the way that it is. Right. Not 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 if we're going So to... it's crumbling brick by brick, building by building, street by street as we speak. That's God's way with Israel. Right. And I'll, I'll and break it apart until you let me build it up. That's right. That's right. So we shouldn't be depressed, no. but we should be concerned. Absolutely. And then we should do something with our concern that is spiritually accurately constructed. We got to build something that's lasting. That's, that's right. the only way. That's his word endures. He, he endures forever. Amen. He endures forever. Sir, close in prayer. Father God, teach us the process and let us be endued with it. Let us not not come outside of it. Let us not exalt ourselves above it. Let us submit ourselves to your ways because they're better than our ways, to your thoughts because they're better than our thoughts. Let us walk according to your mind, to your image, and let us run with the things that are of your hand and not of ours. Lead us, Father God, we submit to you. Give us your wisdom, give us your strength, give us your power, and all that we have of ourselves, let that be done away with. It's nothing for us, it doesn't do anything for us. It's your way that we want to be aligned with. And let this strike us, let it stick with us, let it pierce our hearts, and let our hearts that are broken be broken for you. Father, lead us. We want to follow you and move in your path, your ways, in your mind, in your heart, with you and you alone. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Pastor Damien Provenzo from Corona, California. I'm grateful for your input, but I'm also grateful for your friendship, your brotherhood. I challenge you out there today. If this blesses you, forward it to somebody. If not, don't turn back here ever again. I'm all right with that. I'm, I'm looking for someone that want to be caught, somebody that's come out of being captured by the evil one and being caught by the Lord. Think about what I'm saying today, and then turn around and be where you ought to be when you ought to be there and be all up in there doing what you ought to be doing. Wake up again, do it tomorrow. Call that a breakthrough. Tell the devil, put that in his pipe and smoke it. I love you all.